What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel if you didn't know. Okay, so today's video is gonna be all about lash curls What you need to know as a beginner lash tech and then what you need to know all about the different lash curls and when you need them Okay, so let's get into it. Okay. Also, I do want to say that I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winner for our brand new flourish lash chart that will be at the end of my video so stay tuned for that and I will let you guys know who is the winner of our brand new lash chart okay so speaking of our lash chart this is like the perfect way to describe lash curls and show lash curls because it's a little bit harder when I have to show you like the curls like this because they're so small and you can't really see you know what I mean okay so <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys on here but okay you know what actually I'm gonna pop this up on the screen so you can see it properly but if you look, you can see all the curls. So you have your J, your B, your C, your CC, your D, there's also a DD, and then your L, L plus, and then there's also an M. So I'm gonna show you guys like exactly the difference. I do wanna start off by explaining to you why we have different lash curls. So there are different lash curls because everybody's lashes curl in different, uh, the everyone's natural lashes curl differently everyone's lash everyone's natural lashes curl differently so therefore they actually need to have a specific curl applied to get a specific look and then also if you're looking for like a certain type of look or a lash strip look you would use a different curl just to like achieve that so for example if you have a client that has super downward lashes because that's a common thing um you can have like lashes that just grow downward so it looks like they have no lashes but they really do they're just going this way Aww. so you would for that scenario you would want like logically you'd be like oh my god like i want to use a super curled lash which would be like a d but what happens is there's less of the extension bond to the natural lash because now the extension is like going like this and the natural lash is going like this so then therefore it, like it kind of looks like 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 that versus like like that does that make sense there's less bonding space so the lash can easily pop off before I get into all of that though let's start from like the beginning so let's talk about the lash curls so you have your J curl, which is extremely straight. That is your like super straight curl. That is like the curl that is closest to people's natural lashes. Um, you, if you were to put straight, if you were to put J curls on an entire set, it would just look straight. You wouldn't really see much happening unless they looked up or if you look from above. If anything, it would just really make their lash line look a little bit darker, but you wouldn't see like like a flick you wouldn't see the curl up you wouldn't see the lashes when you're looking straight at them some people actually like that look because it does look nice when you have like like if you just want like a dark lash line look without the drama it does add to your lash line so yeah it's definitely a thing you can do it but it's also not very common mostly J's are used for the bottom lashes because they can give like that perfect little curl because bottom lashes don't curl the way our top lashes do and you don't desire that curl at the bottom lash if that makes sense let me drink some water because like honestly I feel like I'm gonna be talking like crazy in this video Did you guys notice I'm trying to slow it down I'm trying to slow down my talking so you understand what I'm saying <laughs> okay okay so next you have your B curl your B curl is a little bit more curled than your J curl B curl is like at the time when I started getting uh, when I actually got certified they had told me that B curl was the most popular curl to use and that's actually what they gave me in my kit it was all B curls and um, they didn't really explain the difference of so I didn't really know but B curls have a little bit more of a curl to it than a J it could be like a it's the same thing as like a natural curl because it, it's not very like up there but you would see like maybe like a tiny bit more of a curl but again it's, it's super super light super natural looking it's definitely not any type of like dramatic look at all some people just don't even carry J's and B's I don't have J's and B's because like it doesn't even make sense for me to have J's and B's but um if you're doing textured looks or um you're trying to do something super creative like maybe like a strip lash that has like spikes in it and you don't want to miss a lash so you can put a, a B in there so that way you still get that dark lash line but you don't have the curls going up like that you have like the space in between but they are useful for certain sets but again they're just not super popular okay okay so next you have your C so your C curl is definitely in that like popular um bracket of lash curls so C curls are still not super curled but they have like such a gorgeous lash line they're super sultry they're kind of like those lashes that just look like wispy and like very like flirty I like that like I feel like that's what like C curls look like they have like that flirty sultry vibe just because they're not super like 
up in the air and then they're not super straight so you get that like fluff when they when you look at them straight on you definitely see a curl it's definitely there it's definitely visible you can see it it's just not like up in your face like BAM I hope that makes sense so then now you have your CC's so your CC's are like a one up from your your C's but then you have your D curl so your CC is right in between your C and your D because the CC is still not as curled as a D but it does have a little bit more lift to it than a C all pictures will be here okay then you have your D curl. So now the CC curl can still give you that sultry look, but just add a little bit more drama if you're going for like something that's like not super dramatic, but like dramatic. So then now your D. So your D is like where the drama is. Your D is like those full dramatic sets that are like in your face that are like a, your client walks in and she's like, I want the most dramatic set. It's your D curl. Your D curl is going to give that full curled like I have lashes bam there they are usually your C and your D's are the most popular and the most requested and usually people know more about the C's and the D's versus like J's or B's or even CC's or DD's are not like that common but they're definitely there and they're definitely up there and super useful then you have your DD so your DD is like a step up from your D which is like in my personal experience or like my opinion I think a DD is like slightly too curled but there are clients that it looks great on especially if you're trying to do something textured if you're trying to achieve like a strip lash look um, they're really cool to like incorporate in your set I just don't personally like the full set in like a DD because it's just like if you look at them on the side it's literally like like a curve like it's literally like that it looks like 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 just super curled. <laughs> they do look good and they do um, definitely add to a set. I would just use them sporadically versus like the entire set. <sighs> Again, talking a lot. Next. So then you have your L curl. So L curls are totally different from the other curls. They are a lot better at retaining a uh, retaining the bleh, they're they're a lot better at retention only because the bonding surface of an L curl is a lot longer than the the C D or C C or D D because the C C C to D like or C to D D all kind of curve like continuously curve but the thing about an L curl is it has like a flat base and then curves so it gives you that space to bond that flat base to the natural lash so it bonds like perfectly and it holds a lot longer because it has more of a bonding surface get it okay with that you can have like an L so your L the, the idea of the L obviously is it's like that like you know but it's not usually like that it's usually like Mm, you know what I mean? Okay, so there's like a flat surface and then a little curve So that's an L but then there's an L plus your L plus has a little bit more of a curve But then you can go into like an LC or an LD The only difference between that is like you still get that bonding surface like that straight line and then you have like the, the curve would be like a C or a D curve so that's where like the LC LD come in I hope this is not confusing I'm really trying and we're gonna add graphics so let's let's just continue okay so last is your M curl so M curls are the newest curls they are definitely um, a little bit more recent they don't they they, they didn't they weren't that popular before but they're definitely newer and they're getting popular right now even we have launched um, our M curl but the M curl is the ideal look for like that fox eye so your M curl has a totally different shape it doesn't have a curl to it it's literally like straight and then pointed so it's literally like that like it has no curl to it it's more of an angle than anything so the reason that this shape works is because it gives like that spike look so if you look at a client that has um, an M curl set on it's definitely way more um, obvious and like sharp so it has like that sharp fox eye it's a little bit harder to um, mix this set but I have done sets where it does look really nice where you put like you have like a full set of like C's or D's and then you add some of the M's in between so that it kind of gives that spike to it or I just personally like a full M curl set because it just has that like really nice fox eye to it usually it's like the cat eye look so that it goes short to long so it really elongates the eye and gives that like super sharp like sultry um, fox eye get it okay so now that is like the end of my curl explanation if you guys want to know about curls and putting them on different clients I can show you guys a better 
tutorial on that let me know if you guys want that below but this was just like a quick kind of ex explanation on curls and what they are used for and how to distinguish each one okay so first I want to say thank you to everyone who entered this giveaway I am so excited for someone to get this chart because it is literally the cutest thing ever and I know it's gonna be useful for everybody in their lash room so yeah thank you for entering and don't forget it's actually gonna go up on our website at flourish.com today so if you didn't win don't worry we're gonna do free shipping right now so you can go ahead and purchase it on flourish.com or slashes.com <laughs> okay so the winner is Alondra Camarillo so Alondra congratulations you won our flourish lash chart make sure to comment down below your info or you can DM me at on v lashes floor slashes or at Ariella on Instagram so I can get in contact with you. Okay, thank you again for everyone who entered. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with something new next time. Bye!